Hi, I'm Tom Farley. And, you know, I grew up in Wisconsin. I'm a Wisconsin boy. And uh, the family I grew up in was crazy. In the midst of it all, of course, you know, my younger brother, Chris, goes off into comedy and starts, you know, making a name for himself. And it was a wonderful ride. But the next thing we thought, it was Chris. Chris had the problem. We didn't. So we looked at it like, you know, uh, we got to help Chris, but the rest of us, um, it just took a longer time. So, but, but one by one, we all um, uh, embraced recovery. Recovery to me isn't a program to, be, to help me be sober. Recovery to me is a program to be a better person and sobriety just enables that. And the reason I do what I do now and to talk is because I just think there's, you know, stigma and perception are one of the biggest barriers for so many people uh, getting into recovery. My message, and this is one of, you know, you know, because I experienced it, is is to families when they have somebody that they, that they're, you know, friends or families that, that somebody that they love are is is struggling. I, I would say to them, um, be a first responder. Uh, the the concept of being a first responder. I mean, we all know it now. I mean, you know, they're heroes. You know, uh, they they do so many things. You know, whether it's you know police, fire, EMS. We get that, but it's just the you're the same same person, you know, same thing with somebody in recovery. There's always those first people that see somebody struggling. So be that first responder, be, be, be there for help and, 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 and know that you're not alone in, in doing that. Uh, I would say one of my first advices is, is find a professional interventionist for one, because I know in my experience as a family and as a brother, you know, we tried to be this first responder to Chris, and it was it, it was like um, EMS workers arriving at a, a scene of an accident with just a box of band aids. We were hesitant. We we didn't know how to talk. We didn't. We felt guilty. We felt that we were judging somebody, uh, and, and they were they were being judged on, on the same things behaviors that we um, were exhibiting ourselves. So having that impartial third party interventionist would have been. Um, really helpful <laughs> to us. And uh, um, now uh, you you can find them almost anywhere. So I would say be a first responder and uh, look look for the look for people that can help you with those really uncomfortable conversations. And I just wish we had um, kind of all uh, seen uh, uh, Chris's struggles and issues as something that affected all, uh, us all. And we were all part of his recovery. So whether it's a friend, a family member, it's like if you truly care about uh, this person, uh, help them out. Be that first responder. Be 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 there for help and 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 know that um, there you're not alone in in doing that. Mm -hmm.